Serenade, an overview of Balanchine's choreographic genius, spontaneity, and innovation, as well as elements in music, geometry, costume, and storyline that characterize this work as iconic. Serenade was George Balanchine's fourth full ballet, originally staged in 1935, but restaged to its current state in 1948. It was set on Balanchine's own company, the New York City Ballet, and is still a popular part of the company's repertoire. The piece is around 33 minutes in length and is performed in one cohesive act. The lights come up to reveal 17 female dancers in four diagonal lines of three, interrupted by one diagonal of five. They are posed feet together in parallel position, right palm flexed to the diagonal in an attempt to catch the moon glow of a clear night. Serenade's signature neoclassical stance. The overture you are hearing now is the Allegro Moderato of Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings in C Major, to which Serenade was set. The piece is comprised of four movements, this one, a moderato, elegy, and finale. The opening sounds are intended to mimic Mozart's classical sonatina, 36 bars of Andante introduction, which you will notice resurface in the coda of movement four. There are many reasons why this ballet is considered unique. Most evidently, the fusion of classical and contemporary ballet technique for which Balanchine is known. Second is the lack of any real codified story. Balanchine intended for the ballet to reflect the unexpected nature of rehearsals under a simple moonlight setting. You will notice glimpses of romance, female tragedy, and nods to a Giselle-like protagonist, but as for what the ballet is truly about, it is up for interpretation. This is because the ballet was originally designed as a lesson in stagecraft for fledgling students. Balanchine thought that the best method of instruction was to give his dancers something unfamiliar to dance. The ballet largely incorporates chants. When one girl showed up late for practice, it became part of the ballet. One girl collapsed in exhaustion and was told to remain there and create the beginning of the finale. This is an excellent time to notice Balanchine's clever use of varying levels. Note the seated women, some lunging and others remain standing. Because of the unstructured story, the cast of characters is also ambiguous. There are 20 women in total and 6 men. There are 3 notable female roles, Waltz Girl, Russian Girl, and Dark Angel. I will point them out when the time comes. Another characteristic of Serenade was the complex transitions from one formation to the next. The visual effect created is a fluid mirage of ethereal shapes. Choreographic devices like cannon are popular and add to the aesthetic appeal of the ballet. These swift arm switches are another moment of contemporary influence.
Here enters Waltz Girl as she first appears alone. This role is here danced by New York City Ballet former principal Darcy Kispa. You'll see plenty of her later. Balanchine here plays with the dramatic nature of the music using highly expressive arm movements. This is another excellent example of level changes. Spot the girl collapsed. This is one of many motifs in the ballet. Given that everyone's turning, I think this is an appropriate time to mention costumes. They mostly speak for themselves, elegant blue flowing dresses that reflect the lunar atmosphere. The skirts are loose and conducive to movement. Here's the part where the girl supposedly arrives late to rehearsal. She does look rather confused, doesn't she? Note the repeated flex palm. And naturally, the last to arrive is the last to stay. Notice the intrigued man upstage left. Waltz Girl and Unnamed Boy will now engage in a pas de deux.
Alas, they aren't left alone for very long. Note the contrast of the slow and sustained movement quality of the majority and the sharp, fast quality of the feature. Boy One is back! The formations in this section are wildly complex and extremely satisfying to watch. We now have a quintet. They begin with a slide into a split, which is a little unconventional. As of now, the women are sharing in an attitude of camaraderie, which you will find turns into competition a little later on. After all, there are 20 girls and only 6 boys, so some people will inevitably end up alone.
The repeated arabesque hops are worth mentioning simply because of how much strength is required to keep the leg from bouncing with the body. This is Boy 2 and Russian Girl. The girl is Kira Nichols, and the man is Leonid Kozlov. Here comes the flex palm again, except Russian girl is doing level 12 of that.
Grace Marks collapsed number two and out came her hair. This was another rehearsal mistake that Balanchine liked because it adds to the ethereal femininity and also will make featured dancers more distinguishable. And here enters Boy One and the Dark Angel, Maria Kelegari. I assume she is named Dark Angel because she likes to blindfold her men. This turn is insane, by the way. This is an interesting dynamic because the audience doesn't really know which girl the man is interested in. We don't even know if he knows. This is the competition part I was talking about earlier. Members of the poor flock in one by one to try to impress the man. And here's Walt's girl, his original partner. Now he's really confused because they all kind of look the same. These are the other men I mentioned. The female to male ratio is still large, but way less overwhelming. This lift repeats quite a bit towards the end, as if the woman is being raised to bask in the ambiance of the moon.
the dark angel returns to her eye-shielding pastime and leaves poor Walt's girl all alone. Pitying her, the core re-enters. Our Waltz girl seems apprehensive of her fate here. She is carried off in the finale in the direction of the moon she and her fellow dancers once hid their eyes from. As vague and subjective to the viewer's own mind as it began, here ends Serenade.